Okay, so Vim. Vim is a free and open source software, a screen-based text editor program. Um, Vim is the best text editor I have used ever in my life, and I am going to argue so hard with anyone who tells me that isn't the case. Vim is highly configurable. It's an efficient text editor, and it was derived... It, it's still used today, and it was derived long ago when even when vi was created by bill joy 1976 long ago yeah i know too long so uh vim has multi-level undo redo syntax highlighting plugin support split windows and tabs it is it is so uh fast extensible and it's just it's just a powerful text editor um it is very popular uh among developers um for its uh, performance um and yeah so that's vim uh in terms of neo vim it's more modern it's an ex a, it's a fork of vim and it was launched in 2014 um to improve uh the extensibility and performance of vim um and it it introduces features like asynchronous job control built-in lua support um, for plugins, better UI and external GUI support, cleaner and more maintainable code base, and overall just um, faster, more better, and it's driven by the community. Um, and so I personally use NVChad uh, with NeoVim. It is just um, a very um, just works desktop, not desktop. Um, just works ide um amazing stuff right here uh it, it just works but however i am going to go over um how to exit vim so if you ever catch yourself in a terminal and you accidentally type vim oh no how the fuck do i get out of here uh, i'm freaking out how do i escape's not working uh, uh control c control c is not working no 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 Calm down. Look at the bottom left of your screen. It tells you right there. Just press colon Q, A, exclamation point. So colon Q is quit. Um, a is all or everything. And then the exclamation point doesn't care if it saves to disk or not. Um, that's, yeah. So usually I just do quit like that. And you've successfully exited Vim. Um, super easy. Uh, th one thing I also want to mention is Vim Tutor. Vim Tutor is amazing for learning how to actually use it. And the main thing with Vim is you're not really going to learn by, uh, just watching tutorials. You have to put yourself in a terminal and you have to launch Vim and keep using it yourself as the only way you're going to learn. And that's the same case with uh, learning an instrument because your keyboard with Vim is an instrument. Honestly, I would argue that Vim is an art. It is, it is amazing. It's extensible. Um, the plugins, it's, it's never ending. So uh, I mean, it tells you from the basics how to move the uh, the cursor up and down, left, right. It is, um, and some other binaries in Unix actually do derive from all of these um, commands itself. So, um, or or some of them, uh, like for example, less. Uh, so if I cat like, for example, let's just go to some random log. Let's go to D message. If I just cat this out, um, sudo. Oh, that is very awkward. I just typed my password in there. Um, so if I go into here and I, I can't really scroll up or I could do maybe page up, but I'm using a suckless terminal, so it's not going to do that. Um, if I'm in like a regular prompt and I can't scroll up, it, all it does is do this. It just does just some random stuff. All you have to do is pipe it into less. And these, like it's among the same uh, key binds to uh, move around in Vim. So that's just another example of like where Vim key binds is more 
global than you think. So like even a slash is search. So I could search uh, reserve here and it'll pop up, um, oops, reserve, not reverse. And it will, it will highlight everything. And I could press N to go next and to go back. And this is only a less. Um, it's just amazing what Vim Tutor can do. So I could type in like reverse, maybe reverse shows up here. No, it doesn't. Uh, reserve maybe. No, maybe just Vim Tutor. Just see. So yeah, I could press N for next. Um, so slash is to search. So I could search for reserve, reverse. Um, press enter. But yeah, I mean, Vim is just so powerful. There's so much you could do with it. Um, and I highly recommend going through this whole Vim Tutor. Uh, it usually comes default on. Uh, basically every distribution, um, but I love Vim. I'm a huge fanboy over it, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, highly recommend it. Keep practicing, and yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll talk to you guys later.